This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. This portion of Lee Pitts Live is brought to you by Hodges University, celebrating 25 years of educating Southwest Florida. Welcome back to Lee Pitts Live for another fabulous show here in downtown at the River District at the Sydney Byrne and Davis Art Center. Got my good friend here, Roy Kinnix of Basic Learning Skills. Let me bump you in, Roy. Good, thank you, Lee. Roy is... Uh, Plan, Director of Planning and Development at Basic Learning Skills. First of all, what is Basic Learning Skills? Basic Learning Skills, uh, Lee, is a company that is based in the Fort Myers River District. Its specialty is the offering of tutoring to children and young people grades K through 12, essentially in reading and in math. I would say that what you do at Basic Learning Skills it's outstanding work. I've read about it. I've seen you guys in action. But also, it is some of the most important work that can be done in, the, in Southwest Florida. What has been some of the response from your tutorial, from people who participated in your tutorial program? Well, I'm glad you asked the question, Lee, because the responses have been excellent. Over the past several years, we have tutored throughout the state of Florida. We've tutored over 7,000 young people in Pennsylvania and California, but the bulk of our students have been here in Lee County where we've tutored about 4,000 students. And of the students that we have tutored, I'm, I'm pleased to say that the 84%, um, at least 84% of the children with whom our highly, highly qualified subject area certified teachers have worked, 84% of those students have made significant learning gains in reading and in math. Now, is it fair to say that with proper tutoring, with proper parent interest and everything else related there too, these students, all students, can excel academically? Yes, I believe that is the case. Mm -hmm. The uh, basic learning skills, you now have gotten a social media presence, you're on Facebook, you've re essentially reinvented yourselves but you're not, you have not changed your name, that, that, that name is golden. Tell us about the reinvention. Well, you're right, we have reinvented because what we're doing now, we're trying to keep up with the tenor of the times. We know that our social media has become a, a major uh, access point for parents. So you can now uh, access information and also enrollment opportunity with our company through Facebook and, and of course, you can continue to use uh, the telephone, make appointments with our office and come down, to, come down there and we can okay. enroll your children. Also, community press. We advertise regularly in the uh, community press. But we, we're, we're taking advantage of social media. Great, that's right. And people can go to that phone number that you're seeing on the screen throughout the interview. You can also go to their website that you're seeing on the screen throughout the interview. And you can learn more about my favorite tutorial organization in all the land. I'm highly endorsing uh, basic learning skills. Okay. Where is the tutoring offered? The tutoring is offered essentially in two locations, one of which is our administrative headquarters office, which has now been expanded into a, a, a learning center. And by the way, there, there is also a nonprofit component that's a part of that. Um, at, at that particular location, there, there is space where parents can bring their children, as they're doing now, on Saturdays, and the children can receive tutoring individually, as well as small groups of no more than five. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the other thing too, I don't want to leave out, and this is very important, because a lot of parents work, and they can't come to our center on Saturdays. They need the tutor to come to the home. And a lot of parents have kids, youngsters who have special needs that can best be served individually, one-on-one, -on -one in their homes. So we have a core cadre of tutors who are, who are trained to provide services to kids who have special needs, and that can be provided in the home. Again, contact our, our office, make an appointment with the um, um, counselor, and that counselor can work out a schedule for you where the tutor can come to your home. It could be on Saturdays, or it could be early evening after school. And John one is putting that tutoring. phone number and website on the screen throughout the interview. The, uh, what's, what are the office hours? The office hours, the regular business hours, well, believe it or not, we have a person that gets in at 6.30. Okay. I'm not there at 6.30, but we have someone. I know, you're out there doing that three-mile right. walk. Comes right. in at 6.30, and we're there until about, really, 8 p.m. 
That's great. When you think about uh, basic learning skills, what, what distinguishes you? What is, what, is, what is unique about your tutorial program? I think the thing that's unique is that one, it, it's history speaks for itself. The fact that over 80% of our students, 70,000 students uh, in different areas around the country have made learning gains. One, we offer um, subject area certified teacher led tutoring. And we do it, uh, get this, we do it at a rate that's about half the price charged by some of the companies that, are, let's call them mainstream companies. Uh, our fees are 40 to um, even 50 percent lower than these companies for the same quality product. Now, and that's and unique with now, that. Now tell us about the institutional market and and who are some of your clients? Well, we think this is a great new component that we've added. For example, I mentioned the Housing Authority, where we tutored students there on site. But we're also, uh, we've, we're also collaborating with entities that are involved with our foster um, care community, where, um, for example, we, we tutor children uh, in collaboration with the Children Network. Mm -hmm. Not uh, array in that group. Right, there. right. That group in Jan Whitmer, these children are tutored in their foster homes. Sometimes they're tutored in, in shelters. So this is an exciting new initiative that we've undertaken um, somewhat recently. Final question. Mm -hmm. When people hear the, the name basic learning skills, when they see it, when they hear it, what should come to their mind? Then what should come to their mind is excellent, accessible, affordable tutoring, no frills, uh, targeting reading and math deficiencies that children may have that can be addressed at an early enough stage so the kids can grow up, feel confident, be, and be productive citizens. And you're not shying away from disadvantaged children. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's why we deal with the affordable uh, paradigm, because here what happens, we know that even though our prices are lower, a lot of families are still challenged to be able to afford these lower prices. So what we're doing, we have, a, that's why we created a nonprofit. So we could solicit participation Donations. by sponsors who might want to take one child, several children, hundred children, who knows. But that's an opportunity for children who come from disadvantaged backgrounds, whose parents might struggle, might want it, but it might still be a struggle for them to be able to get these services. So that's another dimension of what we offer that nobody else is. Excellent, mm -hmm. and, and we have a Dr. Peter Denui who's coming on from Florida Gulf Coast University. He works great with children as well, so we're looking forward to that as well. This is just a great educational show, and we'll get a chance to talk to the president of the student government at Florida Gulf Coast. Roy, let's bump you out. All right, thank Roy, you. Roy, when we bump you out, I want you to tell everybody that there's nothing illegal in these mugs. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. That's water, okay. It's Roy, Roy Kennings, ladies and gentlemen. Roy Kennings. <laughs> For those who say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Roy Kennett and Frankie Jennings over there at Basic Learning Skills who are doing it. We'll be right back with Dr. Peter Denui, the renowned president of the African Network of Southwest Florida.